What's up traders? In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at change of character and how you can correctly identify it. So stay tuned. Now, this video is going to be a follow up on the how to identify a break of structure video. Now, in that video, I gave you guys three easy steps to correctly identify a break of structure. And with this particular change of character video, I just want to add on and give you a little bit more information. Okay. Now in that previous video, if you haven't watched it already, I do suggest that you go um, have a look at it before continuing with this one. We looked at the concept of break of structure, all right? And we told ourselves that essentially what smart money trading is, is smart money trading is a trend following strategy where you're looking for high value areas to get involved in the market to continue with the underlying trend. Okay, so um, we spoke about external structure and how important it is to identify your external swing points, which you can see in here. And then once you've identified those external swing points, you then know that you have a valid break of structure that you can look for trades from. Okay, now one thing that is very apparent whenever you have a break of structure okay you can see that after a break of structure price action tends to put in a swing high and then you get a pullback or you get a little bit of um, corrective price before putting in another swing low okay now this particular swing low is only confirmed after you get a valid break of structure right in terms of the external structure picture right now, how change of character ties into break of structure is because we anticipate a pullback whenever we have a break of structure, change of character allows us to correctly identify this particular swing point. Okay, I'll say that again. Because we anticipate a pullback after a break of structure, what a change of character allows us to do is it allows us to correctly identify that new swing high or swing low in a bearish market. Um, it allows us to correctly identify that swing point before we see the pullback, before we see the corrective move. Okay. So that's essentially what change of character is, right? It is the first indication that a reversal of trend may have occurred. It helps us confirm our swing points when looking at an external structure point of view, because once we are able to, once we have seen that um, break of structure, we need to wait for that swing point to, to form. And then we know exactly where we can start looking for high value areas to continue with the underlying trend from. Okay. And then it's important to note that it can also occur within the internal structure and that can lead to false signals, right? So if I bring you guys back to this particular um, diagram in here, you can see that our external structure would be from swing high, from swing low to swing high, um, to swing low to swing high, all right? So that would be our external structure. But within that external structure, within those swing points, we have what is known as internal structure. Now this internal structure would essentially be um, structure that is seen on lower time frames. Now within there, you can also have a change of character, but that particular change of character um, could print false signals because the true swing point has not been printed yet. Okay. And over time, the more chart work you put in, you will tend to identify these things um, a lot simpler. I will make a multi time frame analysis video where we uh, differentiate exactly what external structure is, what internal structure is, and how you can place your trades and perform your analysis around it, right? So essentially, when looking at change of character, you've got two types, right? You've got a bearish change of character, and then you've got a bullish change of character. And as the name suggests, a bearish change of character is the first indication that a bullish trend has now switched towards a bearish trend. Okay. And then equally a bullish change of character is the first indication 
that a bearish trend has now switched towards a bullish trend. Okay. Now, in order for you to have a valid change of character, you need to have two things. You first need to have a break of structure to the upside, immediately followed by a break of structure to the downside when we're looking at a bearish change of character, right? So you need to have um, two breaks of structure. A lot of people will teach you just to look for this particular break of structure to the downside, um, but I found it a little bit easier to first identify a valid break of structure up or your, your first break of structure to the upside and then immediately followed by a break of structure to the downside. And then obviously the inverse is true for a bullish change of character. You first want to see a break of structure down and then immediately followed by a break of structure to the upside. Okay. Now, another important thing that you need to note is that you realistically want to see your change of character occur in very close proximity. Okay. Once you've gotten your, your break to the upside, you want to see a break to the downside soon after, right? A normal, a normal, um, I guess you could say guide would be you want to see between 15 to 25 bars between your break of structure up and then your break of structure down. And then obviously the same for a bullish change of character, right? Because these are just little things that help confirm that this change of character is a little bit stronger, okay? Now, because we've said that you can see a lot of false signals printing, right? Because change of character can occur within internal structure, there is a way in which you can wait for the confirmation of this change of character before you look to trade that reversal. And the thing that helps us confirm that bearish or bullish change of character is going to be a confirmation. Now, in terms of a bearish change of character, how we see that confirmation playing out is by looking at the following. So we can clearly see that we have a bullish structure in here. And then we have a break up, soon followed by a breakdown. So here we have our bearish change of character. Now, instead of looking for cells immediately at um, supply areas on this leg down, what we can look for is we can wait for that price action to correct. And then we can wait for another break of structure in here to confirm this particular change of character and then once we've gotten that bearish um, break of structure we can then look for supply areas to continue the sales from right that's what's known as a bearish um, change of character confirmation and then obviously the same would be the inverse for a bullish change of character confirmation where you've got a bearish market okay you have your break to the downside, immediately followed by a break to the upside. And then after that break of um, structure to the upside, you have an internal swing point that is formed, an internal swing high. You wait for an internal swing low to form. And then after this break of structure, after this break of structure, we now know that this bullish change of character has been confirmed. And then we can, with confidence, look for demand zones, right? to look for potential bullish um, trades to the upside, okay? Now, it's important to note that when you, are when you wait for extra confirmation, you won't always be presented with an opportunity to join that trend, okay? When you wait for a confirmation. Because a lot of times, what will happen is price action will print your bullish change of character, okay? And then... This initial pullback will be the only mitigation you see for price action to push up. And then what you can see, what you tend to see is then price action continues to the downside. So this would have been your only opportunity to trade your change of character. That's not necessarily a bad thing because had you had you traded this particular um, pullback, this would have been very much a counter trend if price action did that, okay? So this would have very much been a counter trend. And a lot of times, 
um, if you are trading a counter trend without being aware that you're trading a counter trend, what you would have done is you would have potentially been aiming for the fences, right? You would have been aiming a lot higher. And then what would have price done? Price would have come to about halfway your, um, your target. You probably move your stop to break even and then price action rolls over. So instead of banking profits here, you would have been taken out for um, break even. But that is a video for another day. All we want to focus on is change of character here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the charts and just give you a very quick um, demonstration uh, practically of what change of character is and how sometimes the confirmation plays out and how other times the confirmation does not play out. All right, so let's just look at a quick example here on Euro GBP on the 15 minute chart. Okay. Um, now we can all agree that we are in a bullish market in here, right? We've created swing highs and we've also created swing lows. Okay. We can, we can see that. Now, if we zoom in a little bit more and we focus in on this particular break of structure, we can see that we had a valid break of structure to the upside in here. Okay, so that was our valid break of structure. Where did that break of structure originate from? That break of structure would have originated from this particular swing low in here, which gave us that push to the upside. So after you identify your break of structure, what do you anticipate will happen next? Well, after a break of structure, we can anticipate a pullback to occur. But at which point does that pullback begin? That's where identifying a change of character occurs. So this is obviously a bullish market. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a bearish change of character within this area here. So all we need to do is if we zoom in a little bit more, what we look for is we look for a break to the upside immediately followed by a break to the downside. So you can see here from this particular swing, price action pushes up. Okay. And we've been having these um, internal higher highs and higher lows. We have a break of structure to the upside in here, forming a new high. And then very soon after that, you see the price action never takes out this particular high. Okay. So that means that what we essentially saw is we saw a break of structure to the upside. Okay. And then soon followed by a break of structure to the downside. Okay. Now, when it comes to identifying your change of character, you should only be focused on wicks and not so much closes. Okay. So here we have a break of structure to the upside, which is the first part of a bearish change of character. And then where did this particular break to the upside originate from? Or it originated from this low, which means that this is the low that we need to see. This is the low that we need to see broken in order to confirm the change of character. Okay. And where does that break occur? That break occurs right on this candle here. We did not close below that low, but we did wick that low. And as soon as you wick the low, the change of character is confirmed. So as you can see, here we have our valid bearish change of character because we have a break to the upside followed by a break to the downside. So from an, from an external structure point of view, we can comfortably mark this particular high point out as our new swing high, right? From an external structure point of view. Now, remember, after you got your bearish change of character, you can then begin to look for um, bearish setups. Okay. If you don't want to trade the confirmation, you can just go ahead and look for where this particular break occurred from. So you can see that you have a valid um, supply area in there. And then there, boom, price action confirms our change of character. It pulls back into our supply zone and then price action continues, right? Continues downwards. Now, let's just say, for example, that is a bit too risky for you. You would much rather wait for a confirmation. It's not a problem because after 
we confirm our bearish change of character in here. What we then wait for is we wait for a break of structure to the downside. Okay, so after price action forms our break of structure or forms our bearish change of character rather, we wait for a valid break of structure to the downside. And then after we have gotten that that break of structure to the downside, this particular bearish change of character has now been confirmed and we can confidently look for high value areas where we want to trade to the downside. So this particular supply area immediately stands out to us. And you can see how price action after um, breaking structure here pulls back, taps into that uh, supply zone and then rolls over. OK, we know that this is a high value supply area because OK, now this is where um, the multi time frame analysis video will come in very handy. OK, if we just focus in on this particular setup here, we know that this is a high value area because if we mark out the swing high where the break of structure originated from and the swing low where we started seeing the reversal, we can pull on our FIB tool and we can see that our supply area that we identified that we identified sits well within premium pricing. So this would be a high value area for us to sell from. That's more, um, I want to save that for another video, but you can see how pairing a change of character or waiting for your change of character to be confirmed can then lead to, you know, really strong areas for us to sell from or to buy from, depending on the context of the market. And then quite simply, you look to trade this particular pair. So there's no need for you to give this particular trade too wide of a stop because you waited for the confirmation entry. So what you do is you go ahead and you clear this high. And then all you do is you aim for the previous low. Now, the reason you'll aim for this low is because it failed to take out this high. So this then becomes a weak low that you can that you can anticipate to be taken. And as simple as you like, within what a couple of within, I want to say 30 minutes, you get tagged in and you get tagged out for a 4.8% uh, trade, give or take. Right. So that's how powerful a change of character can be. Okay. After you've identified your valid break of structure, you wait for your change of character to, to form. And then you can either trade it aggressively like we did here, or you can wait for the confirmation by waiting for the break of structure. So essentially you're waiting for two breaks of structure and then you trade it from there. Okay. Now let's look at a, a bullish example just to give you guys both sides of the coin. So we can, we can all agree that price action from here has been bearish. Okay. So let's, let's, let's ignore external structure points. For example, for, for now, let's just look at a change of character. So we can all agree that this price is bearish here. Okay. And as we can see here, we've been putting in lower highs, and we've been putting in lower lows. We can see that price action continues to do that. And then what do we see happen here? In here, we have a bullish change of character. Why do we have a bullish change of character? Because price action broke to the downside, right? We have, a, we had a break of structure to the downside. And then soon after that break of structure to the downside, we had a break of structure to the upside. OK, now the reason I identify this and let me just really um, enlarge this so that you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing here to, to make it a lot clearer for you. We can obviously see the price action has been putting in these lower lows and these. Low so this particular point is a new lower low of this trend here. OK, and then what it does is it pushes up to form a new lower high in there. Okay. Now this particular lower high violates this low, but then it is violated soon after. 
Does that make sense? So essentially, in order to confirm your change of character, you're looking at the last lower low and you're looking at the last lower high. You want to see the, the, the last lower low taken and then immediately after you want to see the last lower high taken. So this is the highest point that broke this level. And then as soon as that has occurred, you want to see this level taken. Okay. So this now becomes, this now becomes a valid bullish change of character for us. Okay. Now, after you see your bullish change of character occur, what can you do? You can very aggressively look to trade this particular demand zone in here. Obviously, on your lower time frames, this can be refined to an order block, right? But this is your valid demand zone. And what does price action do after forming your bullish change of character? Price action pulls back, taps into your demand zone, and then it continues. Okay. So the bullish change of character played out. But let's say, for example, like in the first, in the first instance, you want to wait for your confirmation entry. So what would happen is after your bullish change of character, you wait for a break of structure to the upside, right? So you wait for that secondary break of structure to the upside, and then you want to go ahead and you want to identify a valid demand zone. Okay. If we just pull this one back a bit to make it a bit cleaner, you want to then wait for a break of structure to the upside to confirm the change of character. Then you go ahead and you identify a valid demand zone and then you want to wait for price action to pull back into that area to continue but can you see in this example you would have missed out on the trade because after the break of structure price action never pulled back towards your area right so all this is is this is now a demand zone that has not been mitigated we have imbalance that has not been filled so what happens in this instance is you missed out on the trade. Okay. Price action will continue on its merry way. You can see that you have a really nice bullish reaction off of this bullish change of character. And then what does price action end up doing after some time, after a very long time, price action eventually pulls back right after forming a bearish change of character here, by the way, price action eventually pulls back to mitigate this order block to fill this imbalance. But the reaction that you get off of this particular um, demand zone is not as strong, right? So even though that particular mitigation has not occurred yet, it does not mean that when it occurs, it will give you the reaction because you can see we have a little bit of a stall in price and this is all the, this is all the reaction this particular mitigation needed to give you before it continued on and overpowered this particular zone to continue downwards, right? So this is an instance where a confirmation entry when, cha when trading change of character does not play out, but that is just a consequence of confirmation entries. You will sometimes miss out on some opportunities, but the, the upside to confirmation entries is you will cancel out a lot of those false signals, right? So just to close off, uh, I just wanted to revisit and give you guys a little bit of a revision here on what change of character is to end off the video. It's essentially the first indication that reversal of trend may have occurred. It helps us confirm our swing points when it comes to um, mapping out our external structure. It's very, it's very important that we know where those external swing points are because it helps us identify those high value areas. But it's also important to note that it can occur within internal structure and that leads to false signals. Now, because of the fact that it can lead to false signals, what you can do is, is you can wait for a confirmation of your change of character to, to, to cancel out or to filter out those false signals. So after your change of character has occurred, you wait for a break of structure to the, to um, the downside in this instance. And then only after you get that secondary break of structure is when you start looking to hop onto the trend. All right. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a like. Um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more video uh, lessons like this, which I'll be bringing out in the future. And I really do appreciate you guys for taking the time for watching this. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. 
I'll see you in the next one.